Hi, I'm Jennifer. This lesson covers the FAA Part 121 regulation regarding an alternate airport for departure, also known as a takeoff alternate. A takeoff alternate refers to an airport which could be used should a need to land soon after takeoff arises, such as an in-flight emergency or as a precautionary measure. Helpful references are FEA Federal Aviation Regulations, FEA Terminal Procedures Publication, and your Air Carrier's Operation Specifications, also known as OPSPECs. Having such a plan is required by regulation when the current weather conditions at the time of takeoff would not meet the minimum weather conditions for an IFR approach to the departure airport. The minimum visibility required for takeoff may be less than that required to execute an instrument approach. Should an unexpected landing be needed soon after takeoff, a specified alternate airport would provide a safe airport at which the aircraft could land if the conditions at the departure airport would not permit a return. To determine the need for a takeoff alternate, First determine the applicable approach minimums for an instrument approach to a suitable runway at the departure airport, which meets the requirements for your aircraft. Select a runway which would yield a headwind and ensure that an instrument approach to that runway is operational by consulting the NOTAMs. For example, runway 23 would be suitable for winds from 240 degrees. The published approach minimum visibility for a straight-in approach to this runway is 2400 RVR, which is equivalent to one-half statute mile. So, unless the current visibility is at least one-half statute mile or 2400 RVR at the time of departure, a takeoff alternate must be specified. Keep in mind that for purposes of determining the approach minimums to the departure airport, any suitable runway served by an operational instrument approach system is acceptable and need not be the runway used for takeoff. Furthermore, remember that neither decision height nor minimum to scent height is a weather minimum, so don't misinterpret them as a minimum ceiling to execute an approach. In addition, the applicable approach minimum may require the addition of one-half statute mile, per 121.652 if the pilot in command has not served 100 hours as the pilot in command in Part 121 operations in the type of airplane being operated. Such a pilot is commonly referred to as a high minimums PIC, since higher than normal minimums apply. Consult your air carrier's op specs for details relevant to applicable approach minimums. An airport specified as a takeoff alternate must be listed in the op specs as a regular or alternate airport. Per 121.625, the minimum weather conditions that must be expected at the specified takeoff alternate must meet applicable alternate minimums, which could be standard alternate minimums of 600 feet ceiling and two statute miles visibility if a precision instrument approach is operational to a suitable runway, 800 feet ceiling and two statute miles visibility for a non-precision approach, non-standard minimums. If published in terminal procedures for the preferred runway and applicable to the approach speed for your aircraft, or, most commonly, the minimum weather conditions per your air carrier's op specs. Ensure that both the forecast and latest weather report are considered. Finally, a specified takeoff alternate must be located no further than one hour from the departure airport for a two engine aircraft or no more than two hours for aircraft having three or more engines. These distances are based on the cruise speed for the aircraft in still air with one engine inoperative. That concludes this lesson on FAA 121617 Alternate Airport for departure also known as a takeoff alternate. In summary, if authorized takeoff minimums are lower than applicable approach minimums to return to the departure airport and land after takeoff, and the visibility at the time of departure is lower than approach minimums, an alternate airport must be specified at the time of departure and is subject to certain requirements of its own. I certainly hope I've been helpful and invite you to check out my other lessons.
Please let me know if there are other aircraft dispatcher subjects you're interested in.